Okay. I'm going to try that little mouse. simple pattern but it takes a long time to tie in comparison to some of the other flies that I've been featuring on my channel. To start with you're going to want to uh, get a heavy stinger deer hair style uh, hook that has a nice gap on it. The one I'm using is a Mustad C52S BLN. It's a heavy wire hook, even though it's a surface pattern. And that's because I want this to be down in the water, as I said before. I'll be using a Uni Tan. In 6 aught. usually when I'm tying with foam, I prefer a thicker thread. Like I'll, I'll sometimes go right up to a 3 aught just because it doesn't cut through the foam. For the tail, I just use elastic bands. Just your basic tan colored elastic band. You want to pick one that is suitable to the size of the hook that you're using. This is a one aught hook, and this elastic band is probably about two millimeters wide, two and a half millimeters wide, maybe I'm going to say an eighth of an inch if you're in the archaic English measurement system still. What do they call that? Imperialist or imperial? <laughs> Anyhow, you want the tail to be at least twice the body length, twice the hook shaft length. Okay, so I would say two two and a half times the hook shank. Then you have something to tie it down with. The curve, the natural curve of the elastic band, you want it following the bend of the hook. So that as the mouse is swimming, that tail is moving around and around and around and around. If it's sticking up in the air, it may not do what you want it to do. You want that elastic band to be in the water and you want it to be moving around. So position it on the top of the shank couple of light wraps and then tension it and then move forward. It's kind of tricky because it's very springy. Obviously it's an elastic band, but once you get to past the end of it, you drop one thread wrap around the hook and it kind of locks it in place to the shaft. Make sure you get that tied down very securely. You don't want it pulling out. So once that's done, you're going to want to put in the body material. 
And the body material, instead of fur or hair or something like that, I'm using feathers. And the reason I'm using feathers is because, number one, they move around a lot. Number two, they are easy to work with. And number three, they are easy to cast. So they don't pick up a lot of weight like fur does. And they also aren't very wind resistant like hair is. So they're easier to cast. Now I'm using two different colors. One is a uh, your basic brown, and this is what they call saddle hackle. And this is strung, strung saddle hackle. Just your generic stuff. So now we're gonna pull the fluff off. And this is gonna be, instead of using hackle pliers, you got a handle here for it. So you wanna tie in, tie it in by the tip. Like that. Okay. And then I've got another color, which is Kind of, it's a it's a grizzly brown. I like this cape. It's a Metz number two because at the back of the cape you have again you have those spade shaped feathers. Again, peel off the fluff so you have a handle to hang on to. Tie it in at the same place. Now because we're using feathers, we want to build up the illusion of bulk with the palmering of the feathers. So you're going to tie in two of each color. So here's my second brown one. Tie it in on top of the first grizzly brown one. And then here's my other grizzly brown one that I will tie in as soon as I get the fluffs off it. I'll tie it in on top of the second brown one. There you have it. You don't have to really super particular about it because this is all going to be covered up. So now you want to take your craft foam and this is just your basic craft foam you can get at any craft store i think walmart's got it i don't shop there but uh, michael's has it this is the the thinner piece because we're going to be doubling it over so you want to cut off a strip maybe just a little bit more than probably half an inch longer than two hook shank lengths so two hook shanks and then another half hook shank okay and then i just narrow the a hook shank length at the very end i narrow it with a pair of scissors on here and that's the part that goes on top of the hook shank like so and you want to bind that down with a few wraps to the point where you almost break the thread fold the foam back a little bit advance the thread maybe a Half a centimeter, quarter of an inch, do the same thing. Wrap it down a little bit, pull it back, move the thread forward on the shank, pull it back over, wrap it down, and just keep doing that, repeating that process all the way to the front of the hook. And finally, bind down the very front of the foam. Nice and tight like that. Hey, okay, once you've got that, this is when we want to polymer the feathers. So take your first feather. In this case, it's a brown one. And you want to go around each tie down point of the body. And move to the next one. Do one complete turn there. Move to the next one. One complete turn there. Move to the next one. And complete turn there. 
and then to the front. And if it looks messy, that's okay. In fact, you want it a little bit messy. Okay, that one's tied off. Take your next hackle and just follow it. Follow the first one. Just keep moving it back and forth a little bit to go through the previous hackle. This one's a little webbier, so you got to work with it a little bit more, or I have to. Like so. And then your next brown one. Just repeat with each feather until you've got them all palmered in. You can see that this, these feathers actually create the illusion of bulk without bulk, which is pretty cool. that up a bit. Okay. Now, I want to flatten or pull them out to the sides from the top out to the sides. Flatten that out and bring your foam over the top. I'm always concerned I'm going to break this thread because I'm pulling so hard on it. Once you've gone over the foam a couple of times, you want to go around the shank of the hook a bit, just so it it uh, locks it in, so that uh, the foam doesn't slide around at all. So once you've done that, you want to go back up around the tie-in point so the thread's hanging right at the tie-in point, because you're going to fold this back again, so it's just overhanging or just right at the even with the hook eye like that and tie it down again firmly tie it down hopefully don't break my thread i don't know if you can hear the the tension i'm putting on it but it's making me pretty nervous. Okay, success. So you're all done with the tying part now. Now what we want to do is a whip finish. I usually do a couple, but again, I don't, I try not to use any adhesives or cements on my flies. Because it stinks up my fly box. I'm assuming it stinks up the river. Which you probably don't find head cement very appetizing. So now you're going to end up, you got something that looks like this. And what you want to do is trim the corners off the head a little bit. Just round it off a little. And then fold this up a little bit and cut it 
just a little bit longer than what the head is. And then you want to cut a little heart shape so that you've got a couple of ears sticking up. You want the, the rounded part to be on the corners. Like so normally I would take this out of the vise and I may have to, to do it. But you want to just make a couple of Mickey Mouse style ears on it. Like that. The cool thing is, when you do that, and you look at this fly from below, from the fish eye view, you can see those little ears sticking out, which is kind of what you're after. The last thing that I do, as you can see, some of these hackles are the right length, and some of them aren't. So I'm just going to trim them to length. As I said before, I wanted about a hook cap. And there you go. That is your mouse. So it's the tail and the feathers. The feathers actually move around a little bit and they give an illusion of movement because their feathers, it looks like a blur. So it looks like this mouse is moving his feet like crazy. You can, if you want, take some magic marker, mark it all up. You can change the color of the tail if you want. I don't bother. The mouse works great just the way it is. So again, I'm not looking for more work. I'm just looking for a fly that works. So that's the mouse. Tie a few up. Let me know how you do. Hey.